Welcome and good afternoon. We begin with the Fox 10 News Alert. This is a story we've been following for over a week now. A possible tragic end as the bodies of a missing couple from Maricopa possibly are found in a backyard. And we have some pictures to show you. Sky Fox uh, flying overhead yesterday as crews dug up the yard, not too far from the home of Michael and Tina Caretia. And uh, this man right over here, his name we now know, Jose Valenzuela, lives at that property, Valenzuela, has been arrested. Right now, a news conference is about to begin, and Fox 10's Andrew Hasman joins us live on the phone with the latest developments. Andrew. Kristen, as you saw in that video, the uh, Pinal County Sheriff's Office spent the entire night at that property digging up the backyard, and they even brought in a backhoe to help dig and recover the bodies of Mike and Tina Caricia. That's who they believe those two bodies are. What led them to that home and the connection between the missing couple and the suspect, that is what we don't know. We really don't know a lot of information right now, except that the Pinal County Sheriff's Office announced at 2.30 this morning that they recovered two bodies from that backyard and they notified the family. Since then, we haven't really gotten much uh, more information than that. All the information is expected to come out here from the sheriff himself. Uh, the Pinal County Sheriff's Office headquarters in Florence they are expected to detail the relationship between these two and as much as they can tell us what happened and give this family some kind of idea of what happened to Mike and Tina Caricia. And as I mentioned, that starts at noon, so any minute now, we're expecting to hear from the sheriff. Ricky Kristen. Okay, Andrew, thank you so much. Oh. Now, if, if we'll get back to Andrew, but if you want to keep watching the press conference, we are streaming it live right now on Fox News Now. Just head to youtube.com slash Fox 10 Phoenix. Stick with Fox 10 for continuing coverage of this developing story. Well, that news conference on the missing Maricopa couple is now underway. Here's Sheriff Paul Van Buren, Pinal County. Let's listen to Valenzuela, who is in our jail right next door, uh, who has been charged with first-degree murder times two, two counts of that. Uh, and he's being held on a $2 million cash bond. So they actually have to come up with $2 million in order for the release. Uh, there, there was a talk uh, mentioned seen that there was a, a second person of interest that was taken into custody for questioning um, that uh, it, it appears at this time uh, there's a lot of different leads a lot of different information it has been evolving very quickly uh, our effort specifically for him was to uh, look at the, the statements that we had from the prime suspect Jose Valenzuela and, and talk to uh, this secondary person who lived and from our understanding, and who had some information. And some of this is conflicting. So this is where, bear in mind that this will be evolving, there will be different stories, different information, and the course of a methodical, very deliberate investigation, uh, and this is where, where why it takes some time. Uh, we operate in the, in the realm of uh, physical evidence, forensics, actual uh, statements, and uh, that's law enforcement. We have to keep in mind we're building a case that the county attorney can build not and prosecute not just on reasonable suspicion or probable cause, which is when we make an arrest, but beyond a reasonable doubt. So we want to ensure uh, for the victims, for both Mike and Tina, for their surviving family, they are also victims, uh, that justice is served here. Um, let me back up just a little bit. Uh, we, we saw that a car was found in the desert. Uh, somebody had already asked me, um, you know, hey, it, did it look like foul play, you know, right from the beginning? Uh, when you have cases like this and missing persons, most of the time they are truly missing persons. And uh, I, as a patrol officer of countless times, been called by, by parents and my son or my daughter or this person is missing, and almost always, that person ends up coming back and there's either miscommunication or there was strife somewhere and it ends up getting resolved in the positive. This is a tragic case uh, where both of these individuals, Mike and Tina, uh, were murdered. And uh, we do have um, the, the murder weapon, which is a 22 uh, caliber revolver uh, that was used. Uh, what happened, and you'll be given a, a, a form redacted if you don't already have that. Uh, and basically, uh, yesterday, this is where we were building up to this point, following up with an additional interview with Jose Valenzuela. And uh, he called up prior to the interview, talked to one of my uh, uh, investigators.
invaders and said, hey, I'm not coming in. And the, the deputy had pressed him uh, further for information, and essentially he confessed. Essentially he said uh, uh, all this information about uh, killing both Mike and Tina, and uh, there's a conversation that ensued. Um, we immediately dispatched uh, a patrol response and detectives uh, to that residence, and he was held up uh, both at the house and in, in, in the shed area. Uh, we had, had uh, one of our investigators had talked with him, got further information to determine that uh, that the decedents were on that property, very close to the house, almost within feet of the, the residence. And he was, he had a weapon on him at the time, the actual murder weapon, and uh, he was taken into custody with that incident. That's going to prove to be very helpful to our case, we believe, uh, rather than uh, many times uh, cases like this, uh, the suspect may end up getting in a, a shootout or some act of violence or against themselves. Right, Sheriff Paul Van of Pinal County, uh, in, in a news conference concerning the missing couple in, uh, of Maricopa, confirming that, that indeed the bodies that were exhumed or 